it's really hard to leave competitive golf, but it's the first time in my life that I'm not in competitive golf. It's like I want to play these tournaments, but I'm not in. So our, our tour, the Champions Tour, is set up on career money. And so every year I keep getting further down the list on career money. So this year I played – actually my number came up one time. It was for the PGA. And I can play in the PGA because I'm a former Ryder Cupper. But the only other tournament I got in was a tournament sponsor called me. said, Chip, will you sign up for our tournament? We want you to be in our tournament to help us with some of these sponsors and what have you. And I said, sure, I'd love to. I was actually flattered that they would think of me that way because, you know, it's like any sport and anything. You know, if you're gone, good riddance, see you later, right? It's competitive, right? So for me, the transition is great because I see a lot of people on our tour, they're kind of just existing out there away from their homes and, you know, they might be promoting their alcohol or their golf construction business or their they just like to play to play or have nothing better to do. But I am so happy that my family loves me enough. They want to be with me more and they want me home more. And so I have an opportunity to sleep in my own bed. I'm going to be a resident of Florida. So we're selling our home in Chicago. So it's a great opportunity. And there's a lot of, I guess there's not as much trepidation or fear because I understand the culture of Gray Oaks. I love the culture. It's more family-oriented. It's more with couples. It, it just feels good to me, and I, I feel that it gives me an opportunity to grow as a person, to have a more meaningful existence in my life, and instead of just chasing that ball and trying to make money. Because I think the lifestyle of playing competitive golf, especially, it, it becomes where you get addicted to making the money.